Home in Greenville, South Carolina, we call him the sports genius. He brings you the joke of the day. I need y'all to make some noise right now for Rock T. Yo! What's up, y'all? I need y'all on your feet right now, your feet right now, yo. If you're down with your homie, point him out. If you're down with your homie, point him out. If you're down with your homie, point him out. Point him out. Point him out. Say, that's my homie. Say, that's my homie. Say, that's my homie. Say, that's my homie. Oh, coming to the stage, my brother brings you news you absolutely positively cannot use. Give it up for my brother, Special K. What's up, Greenville? What's up, Greenville? What's up, live from the ATL? Come on. Yeah. Mrs. Mind, Body, and Business. Y'all better make some noise for our sister, Maria Moore. Half man, half woman. The messiest person on the morning show. Give it up for Gary with the T. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. The first. Let me say this again. The first female rapper to go platinum. Y'all better make some noise for our sister, the Brigitte Ticket Attack. Good morning, good morning. Yeah. We about to do this thing. <laughs> How y'all doing this morning? Yeah. The man that made all this happen, our brother. Y'all know no other than Ricky Smiley. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? All right, y'all, Ricky Smiley, the morning show. We're broadcasting live from Greenville, South Carolina. Make some noise. All right, y'all, Ricky Smiley, the morning show coming up. Let's go. News headlines. Entertainment. Sports. It's the front page on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. All right, y'all, Rick Smiley the Morning Show. We are live from Greenville, South Carolina, from the Clemson University Men of Color Summit. Uh, this morning, we have more than 2,000 young men joining us, along with some amazing guests. So for more information on the event, check out Clemson EDU. So we got your front page right here. Maria, good morning. two black men for hours were sentenced in state court Wednesday to 15 to 45 years in prison. Their sentences will run concurrently with their federal sentences handed down last month, which range from 10 to 40 years in prison. Now, the ex-officers had pleaded guilty after the torture of Michael Jenkins and Eddie Parker at a home in January 2023. U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland commented on the sentencing, saying, Officers who violate constitutional rights will be held accountable by the Justice Department. Yes, in other racial justice news, two conservative political operatives who orchestrated a robocall campaign, get this, to dissuade black people from voting in the 2020 election, have agreed to pay $1.25 million under a settlement with New York State. Jacob Wall and Jack Berkman were accused of making robocalls to phone numbers in predominantly black neighborhoods in Ohio, Michigan, New York, Pennsylvania, and Illinois. We know those areas are all swing states. So they try to get away with it. Uh, they said that people could be subjected to arrest, debt collection, and forced vaccination if they voted by mail. Ridiculous. Uh, the men have previously staged hoaxes and spread false accusations against Democrats in the past. Lastly, and in health news, individuals with bipolar disorder and schizophrenia may benefit from the keto diet. According to People, a study published in Science Direct found that 69% of surveyed participants with bipolar disorder showed improvement after going on the high-fat plan that includes dairy, vegetables, fish, and other seafood. Gary, yeah, what you think? I'm listening, but is keto good? That's what they say. Really? Oh, well, I might try it then. Yeah, good. <laughs> Work with y'all. 
Yeah, I'm working with us. Mm-hmm. We we the cause of all your issues. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm Maria Moore, and that's what's happening in news. For updates and more headlines, visit rickysmileymorningshow.com. Rock T, what you got in sports? Well, we all knew this was going to happen, man. College basketball's all-time leading scorer and national player of the year, Caitlin Clark, will have her number two, 22 jersey retired at Iowa. 24-year-old Toronto Raptors' Jonte Porter could face a lifetime ban from the NBA over gambling allegations. He's under fire for two games, particularly when sports books notice. Some head-scratching activity on bets involving him during some games. He left both of these games early due to, like, random illness and random injuries. So they're saying he was pretty much faking it. Uh, so the investigation will continue on that one situation. He's only 24. He can be banned for life if, he, oh, yeah. if he's guilty for this. An unnamed NBA general manager has expressed his opinion on Bronny James. He's the son of LeBron James, who recently declared for the NBA draft. He also hit the transfer portal. This particular general manager said that Bronny is not even close to being ready for the NBA yet, and he still needs a little bit of seasoning. I, I agree with I that. I agree 100%. I agree with that. He, I, I, you know, I love LeBron James personally. I love him. Uh, but I, I do not think that Bronny is ready uh, for the NBA. But I, I think he should transfer and do one more year of college ball and go somewhere where he can get some plans. And I also think that he was set up to fail. At USC, I don't think he was given an opportunity. I think he should just go to another team where he have better chemistry with the team. Yeah, and he also had that heart cardiac arrest situation. Yeah. So I, if I'm a coach at USC, I'm like, man, I'm not. I want to play you, but then again, I want to make. I want to take care of your health as well. Right. So right. he got caught in a tough situation. So we'll see what happens. Brad, what you got coming up next? Coming up next in the hot spot, Meg the Stallion says she was not treated as a human. I'm gonna tell you all about it up next on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. So hot and hot. You can catch me at the hot spot. It's the BRA 18. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are live in Greenville, South Carolina from the Clemson University Men of Color Summit. This morning we have more than 2,000 young men joining us along with some amazing guests, man. I am so excited to be here, back here once again, our third year here in Greenville, South Carolina. Now it's time. For the hot spot with the one and only, the Brat. Good morning. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing out there? Yeah. I'm your girl, Brat Tat Hot Spot, but we bring you music, movies, and more. So let's get off into it. Well, y'all producers offered a surprise look at the Michael Jackson biopic, Michael, during CinemaCon on Wednesday. The project will include more than 30 songs and teased it will be long in order to do the music star's story justice. A producer said, behind the scrutiny and the accusations and the blinding media spotlight, he was simply a man, a man who lived a very complicated life. The movie will get into all of it. The trailer began with the look at the Jackson 5 performing ABC on TV and then cut to the 1990s era concert of Michael performing Man in the Mirror. Now, there are also images of a mass Jackson being hounded by fans and paparazzi. Jackson's real-life nephew, Jafar Jackson, stars as Michael, and in the trailer has a strong resemblance to his uncle and appears to have captured his dancing and stage presence. Michael has an April 18th, 2025 release date. They making us wait another year. They keep talking about right. it like it's coming so soon. All right, y'all. Meanwhile, Meg the Stallion is opening up about her difficult time in her life. Uh, months after Tory Lanez began his sentence for shooting and wounding her in the feet. Now, Megan looked back at the incident and recalled how it was painful for her, not only physically but mentally as well. She told Women's Health, A lot of people didn't treat me like I was human for a long time. I feel like everybody was always used to me being fun and happy. I watched people build me up, tear me down, and be confused about their expectations of me. As a black woman, as a darker black woman, I also feel like people expect me to take the punches and just take the beating and take the lashings and just handle it with grace. But I'm human. And she remembered going through some dark times in the aftermath of the shooting. She said, I didn't want to get out from under the covers. I stayed in my room. I would not turn the lights on. I had blackout curtains. I didn't want to see them. I didn't want to see the sun. I knew I wasn't myself. It took me a while to acknowledge that I was depressed. 
Going through therapy was many steps that Megan took on her healing journey. Others included cutting ties with people who weren't adding to her life, which some of us need to do for real in real life, deleting social media apps, and working out so she could focus on her energy being elsewhere. Congratulations to Megan because some people wouldn't have made it through situations like that. Because the world, a lot of the world did turn on her. The people she thought loved her, she lost friends and, and close family members and stuff like that. So that's really sad, but I'm glad she came came out of it and i'm glad she's doing her thing she looks amazing and we proud to make the stallion all right i got room for one more quick story usher is set to receive the key to his hometown of chattanooga tennessee on saturday april 20th Chattown? yeah in partnership with utc and chattanooga business elite the city of chattanooga and hamilton county will host a special community-wide homecoming coming home ceremony for him uh, the celebration will be hosted at the McKenzie Arena and is free for attendees. Free tickets will be available online for the first come first serve basis beginning tomorrow. So congratulations to Usher. All right, y'all. Well, why don't y'all hit us up for them wake up calls at eight six six nine Ricky. You know what? I got a, I got a better idea. I think we can do them live. We're gonna line everybody up oh, in the dope. auditorium. We're gonna do some live wake up. Yeah, wake up. We can't call them calls. What do you call them? Wake up, wake up walks. shout outs. Walk, yeah, wake, wake up shout outs. Wake, wake up walk ups. Yeah, wake up walk ups. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. All right, y'all, Ricky Smiley Morning Show. We are broadcasting live from Greenville, <laughs> South Carolina. Ooh. We up in the building. Somebody get Gary some tissue. <laughs> That's right, y'all. Uh, uh, we are broadcasting live from the Men of Color National Summit. We are so happy to be here. Listen, now, I don't know if you heard, but I'm having a huge. Beach party in Hollywood, Florida. Y'all heard about it? Yeah. yeah. Come on That's now. Right. So I need everybody in Greenville to go to rickysmileybbb.com. That's rickysmileybbb.com. And go ahead and get your rooms before it sell out like last year. It's sold out. If y'all want to have a good time, y'all need to come party with your favorite morning show. And, uh, hey, listen, so I want y'all to be there. So I'm trying to give y'all a heads up. All right, so go to, uh, what is it, Ricky Smiley, BBB.com, Ricky Smiley, BBB.com. All right, y'all, we're live from Greenville, South Carolina, for the Clemson University's Men of Color National Summit, our third year. We are so excited to be here. Special K, good morning. Hey, good morning. You I got that liar. news you I believe him, yo. I don't know why, but I do. Relationships. All right, so here's oh, what no, I got y'all for make you. More noise than that. Are you in a relationship? Relationship, marry, go together, live together, all that. Here's some signs. Here are some signs that you know that your marriage or relationship is definitely in trouble. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Pay attention. Now, your wife comes home and you on the sofa crying. She throw her keys on the table, look at you, and keep talking on her cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That means she don't give a damn what's wrong. <laughs> you wondering why every time you get out of the shower, you smell like Comet, and then you find out that she's been cleaning the bathtub all week with your washcloth. <laughs> That's bad. These are signs that you know your relationship in trouble. When y'all go on a road trip, vacation together, y'all drive separate rental cars. <laughs> <laughs> when you leave your phone in her car for half a day, she bring it back, and she ain't check nothing. <laughs> yeah, she Text don't care. message, calls, she, she don't, don't care. care. She don't care at that point. If she makes you hamburger helper, but don't never put none of the seasoning bag in the noodles and the meat. <laughs> Just the noodles only? <laughs> Just straight noodles and meat. The hamburger helper is nasty. I don't know. Any help, hamburger Wait a minute. Helper stop it. There? Hold on. Hold on. Hold yeah, on. You better her. stop. No, it's, it's, helper, only, it's only one person right there. Who don't like hamburger helper? Who don't like hamburger helper? I can't stand oh, I'm hamburger gonna leave helper. Up out of here. I'm gonna leave I like a sandwich. A sandwich. Oh, no. Yeah, a sandwich is helper. a sandwich, but a oh, man. No, the hamburger helper go hard. Anyway, okay, look, 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 look. If you tell her you're going out with your friends for a couple of hours and she just look at you and say bye, yeah. she don't care no more. Yeah. <laughs> if she wash your clothes but don't never put them in the dryer, <laughs> be all wet and mildew. If your blood pressure pills keep mistakenly ending up in the pantry behind the ketchup and the barbecue sauce. Yeah, she don't like you. And finally, if you go to a bowling alley and on, on the other side of town, you with your side chick, and then the next lane over, you see her with her side dude. <laughs> That's what do you do at that point? You That's just go on and bowl. That's bad. You just go on and bowl and act like you don't see him over there. <laughs> 
<laughs> and don't nobody say nothing when they get don't home. Don't nobody say nothing. <laughs> You Gary. cheating, she cheating, just go on and meet each other at the house. That's bad. Is that That's bad, it. Gary? Hey, man, y'all can follow me at Special K913 uh-huh. on Instagram. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, you could have sat down for that second. I don't even know you why you sure stood up. Look, I did the best hey. I could. That's, that's, why you, that's why you ain't on tour with me right now. <laughs> I did it. Uh-huh. <laughs> that right, John, the the morning show, birthday beach blowout, August the 9th through the 11th. Uh, listen. Y'all need to be trying to make your way to Hollywood, Florida, man. Listen, that's convenient. Both the Fort Lauderdale and Miami airports. You don't need a passport. Listen, it's gonna be off the chain. Let's just let's just start with the with the yoga stuff with Maria. Maria, let, let everybody know what you're gonna be doing. Oh, yes, we're gonna be moving our bodies and it's not even gonna feel like exercise. We be out there dancing and having a good time. I mean, I just love the vibes. Um, just good energy all around. You get to check out the beaches, the comedy shows, like I said, my fitness uh, classes. We had so much fun last year. It is a great girls' trip. If you want to go with your boo thing, you have got to get your tickets because last year sold out fast. And, Gary, everybody need to bring a church hat. Why? Because, baby, I'm going to be pouring some hot church tea, baby. You know, every girl loves good hot church tea, even though we all Christians, honey. But that tea is going to be hot. And you know what? It was so hot last year, honey, that it was spilling over, honey. The girls, half of the people couldn't even get in to get them some tea. But this year, you know about it now. So make sure you get your tea because you can get you some tea, honey. And you know what? We may be serving some crumpets, too. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, the, Ga- the Gary Tea Party event was absolutely sold out, man. We got karaoke. It's going to be jet ski rides, parents selling. Hey, we're going to have the Greek stroll out. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. It's going to be at the Diplomat Beach Resort. Four diamond rated by AAA. Relaxation, celebration, inspiration. Hey, don't wait till the last minute when we start adding these groups. Live music, pool parties, barbecue, Greek festivities, and much more. Make sure you book now. Go to rickysmileybbb.com. That's rickysmileybbb.com. Don't miss it. All right, Greenville, South Carolina, make some noise. All right, y'all, we are broadcasting live from Clemson University. Yeah. yeah. Man of Color National Summit in the building. Yes, sir. Listen, man, hey, uh, I need you uh, right now uh, to call three friends and go ahead and book your room for my birthday beach blowout right now. That's August the 9th through the 11th at the Diplomat. Are y'all pulling up? Y'all pulling this up. Take your phones out. I will close and lock the doors in this auditorium and hold y'all hostage. <laughs> if you don't book your <laughs> book your room right now, it's going to be at the Diplomat. Swanky is real swanky. Oh, you feel like you're rich when you walk inside that hotel. It smells good in the lobby. That's right, the Diplomat. And uh, we're going to be partying all night until 4 in the morning. So make sure y'all go to rickysmileybbb.com. rickysmileybbb.com. Dot com. Gary, what you got coming up next? Coming up next, y'all, the prayer warriors are being solicited, y'all, for Tamron Hall. I don't know if y'all heard the shocking news, but we Hold it. He's half man, half woman. It's Gary. I want to hip you to the teeth. Mm-mm. It's Gary, baby. All right, y'all, Greenville, South Carolina, make some noise. All right, y'all, listen, man, we are at Clemson University's Men of Color National Summit. Man, listen, I'm so excited to be here. Greenville, where you at? In the building. Gary got the tea and the color of the day. Y'all been waiting on the tea? Here's Gary. <laughs> Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Thursday, a beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in the celebrity news, y'all. It's a very sad day, y'all, for um, ABC's Tamron Hall. Y'all watch, anybody watch the Tamron Hall show? Oh, yeah. It was so sad. I don't know if y'all heard the shocking news, but it was reported that yesterday Tamron was going to record her show, and they're saying, honey, that she was cooking and set a fire on the set, and they had to cancel the show. They said she was cooking some oxtails, and it was a grease fire in the set of the kitchen and a brief evacuation of her Upper West Side ABC studio where Tal was taping the show. Now, they said the people from The View went into the studio, and they saw the fire. Whooping was saying that it wasn't them that set the fire, but a lot of people are saying, though, that all black people don't know how to cook oxtails, and they shouldn't do it on their show. <laughs> but nevertheless, they said Tamron did that, so we got to keep How do you set there. a kitchen on fire making oxtails? So she probably was searing them. Because sometimes you have to sear the meat before you actually boil. So she probably was searing them and had, uh, you know, that grease probably got 
caught on fire or whatever. I don't know, but they saying alleged honey there was a sex drink and all the people had to evacuate. But that's not a good look because somebody could have lost their life, honey, in what, that kitchen. Was she cooking them during the show? Evidently so. She was cooking probably before, for breakfast before they started the show. Oxtails for breakfast? Girl, people eat them for breakfast, honey. <laughs> don't y'all they, eat oxtails for breakfast? Yeah, when they good. Oh, y'all don't? When they good at night and you want some leftovers early in the morning, oxtails ain't bad with, a, with some uh, Hungry Jack biscuits. Yes, Lord. I mean, that's a sad situation, though. I mean, but I feel bad for her staff because they had to all rush It home. was oxtails for sure. They they said it could have been oxtails. They don't know if it was oxtails or pig Oh, he done made that up. What? Or pig feet. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know she wasn't cooking no oxtail. <laughs> I don't, I don't I, think they have a kitchen in the back. I know the kitchen, they'd be in the front when they're preparing stuff in front yeah. of the audience. So how, how do they burn something when the audience mm. is, and everybody watching? But, you know, all women don't know how to cook oxtails. And, you know, Tamron is kind of, you know, she's more of a... She's from Texas. She's from you know Texas. they eat oxtails in Texas? She's from oh, Texas. Yeah, but she may not know how to cook because she went to college. Most girls that go to college don't know how to cook oxtails. Really? Huh? Oh, my God, Gary, you're hanging yourself. Yeah, you don't learn how to, you really don't learn how to cook oxtail until you get uh, almost 40. Don't nobody really? in their 30s be making oxtail. I don't know anyone in their 30s mm. make oxtail. You get them when you can start getting older. Uh, that's yeah, what, well, that's uh, not true. Well, we go. Really? Oh, yes. You know, people in their 20s can yes. cook oxtail. If you, if you really? got a grandmama and a mama and a family that cook, you learn how to make all that stuff when you're young. Okay. Really? Oh, ooh. Now, Brad, right. Brad make a good dressing. She don't know how to make no oxtails? I sure do. Oh, yeah. see there. Nah. <laughs> Moving on. In other <laughs> news, y'all, this is a sad story, y'all. Disney actress Halle Bailey, y'all, they're saying she's officially a single mother. They say after she split up with her rapper baby's father, DDG, y'all. Now, we were talking about this backstage, and they're like, she didn't break up with him. He's a rapper. You didn't think he was going to stay around forever? So, and what she's a Disney mean? girl. What that mean? Jay-Z a rapper? He's still with Beyonce. Oh, he is? But um, but she's, she's she's a princess. She's a Disney princess. She's a cute little young lady and stuff. You know he was gonna be. And then he already cheated on her once before when he was trying to um text and makes his old ex girlfriend, honey, um Pink Pony. What's her name? Um, what was her name? Ooh, the, the, Pink Ruby Pony. Rose. Was Pink Rose, yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. it was cheating with her. So I Pink mean, Pony is a strip club in Atlanta. Oh, well, them too. <laughs> 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 yeah, I can wear that too. <laughs> Across from his winners. But I, <laughs> oh Lord. but I feel sorry for her, though. I mean, you know, I mean, she should have known. I'm, he just didn't seem like the right guy. Is he a big-time rapper? They seemed happy when they were together, Gary. Yeah, they seemed happy. And poor thing, honey, not Hallie, she's a single mom, honey, so bless her spirit. So we got to keep her lifted up in our prayers. She got to find her Russell mommy. Wilson. He might still be there for the kid. But if he ain't there twenty four seven, she's a single mama. But why she gonna end up with somebody like Russell Wilson? It's, it's like a lot, Sierra, it's a lot of Russell Wilsons out there. Sure is. That, 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 that's out there. We waiting. We be waiting. There's a lot of us like yeah. Russell Wilson. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah I don't sure know about a lot, that. Ricky. Maybe like five of y'all, but not huh? a lot. Maybe like five, not a lot. Really? No, it ain't a whole lot of Russell Wilsons out there. It's, 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 you yeah. don't think so? Yeah, that's uh. like, he like he like a unicorn. Well, Ricky, the older right, ladies. Version. Yeah, I mean, you got me, you got Rock T. We, 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 you know what I'm saying? Got child what? You married? You married too? We, 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 but we like Russell. Yeah, we Wilson like the Russell stuff. Ricky the Russell, is the Wilson Russell Wilson. Wilson. Ricky ain't married, ain't honey. If um, Halle Bailey available, Ricky could call her. She too young. I can't. Too young. I ain't been uh, asleep with no woman, and then she up watching Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Sitting up there naked, naked eating a bowl of cereal with milk running down her chest, watching Peppa Pig. <laughs> Hell no, something don't uh, feel right about that. <laughs> the color today, honey, is one of my favorite colors. My color today, y'all, is Dusty Rose. On the high end, you say Dusty Rose, and on the low end, just look at Special K's wonderful outfit, honey. Dusty Rose. Put it Dusty there. Rose, that's a beautiful outfit. One time, Special K. Y'all yeah. give it up for Gary with the team. <laughs> yes, we are live from Clemson University's Men of Color National Summit. And listen, uh, coming up, man, we got your little wake up shout outs. We're going to do the wake up shout outs. And, uh, you know, uh, and two NFL stars is going to be joining us. We got all of that coming up next. Ricky Smile in the Morning Show. All right, y'all, Ricky Smile in the Morning Show broadcasting live from Greenville, South Carolina. Hey. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Everybody put your hands together. Get it hey. together. Hey, Let me get a little beat with the drum. Let me get a little beat with the drum. Come on. Hey, uh, boom, tap, boom, 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 tap, boom, tap, boom, 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 tap, boom. Come on. 
Hey, wake, wake up. up! My name is Gerald. Shout out to Caleb, Zachary, and Angela. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Good morning, my bad Jones. Wake up, wake up, wake up. 619 Spirits. Hi, I'm Gwen Walker from Seneca. Gerald, Avery, Matthew. Wake up, wake up, wake up! Nisreen Waller from Anderson, South Carolina. Shout out to Kalaja Kivan of Anderson County. Wake up, wake up, wake up! My name is Van Webber from Permanent, Hi. South Carolina. I want to wake up my wife, the kids. Wake up, wake up, happy for anniversary week, baby. Hi, Yvonne Reeder. Hello, wake up, my kids. Jared, Travis, Sanithia. Uh-uh, wake uh-uh, up, wake uh-uh, up. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> Teresa from Greenville, South Carolina. AU, wake up, wake up, wake up. Hey, wake up, wake up. My name is Gloria. I'm shouting out for McCormick Greenwood. Wake up. This is George Washington Shell Jr. shouting out to Brutentown and Lukesville. Wake up, wake my name up. is Princess. I'm waking up my mama. Wake up, wake up, wake up. My name is Messiah. I'm waking up my mama. Wake up, wake up, wake up. My name is Mr. Waking up my mama. Wake up, wake up, wake up. My name is Taj. I'm waking up my little brother today. Wake up, wake up, wake up. My name is Kim. I'm waking up my mama. Wake up, wake up, wake up. My name is King. I'm waking up my grandma and my mama today. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Hey, this is Tasha from Walsworth, South Carolina. Wake up, wake up, wake up! Hey, this is Eric Miller from Clinton, South Carolina. I'm gonna wake up to my family in Clinton and my fellow Clemson alumni. Wake up, wake up, wake up! Yes, my name is Pecorio Boy. Good morning. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Greenwood, South Carolina, Promised Land. Hey, yeah, South Carolina, make some noise! Appreciate that, Rock Teasy. Hey, listen, we are live from Clemson University Men of Color National Summit. Hey, and coming up, we got two former NFL players and Clemson alumni, CJ Spiller and Jeff Davis. Up next, Freaking Smile in the Morning Show. All right, y'all, now make some noise. Yeah, baby. Hey, we are live from Clemson at the Man of Color Conference. And this morning, man, we have the pleasure of our speaking with Clemson football coach, and former running back in the NFL and at Clemson, uh, C.J. Spiller. In the house, C. Jizzle. And uh, we have um, uh, the athletic, uh, the assistant athletic director of football player relations and former Clemson and NFL linebacker, Jeff Davis. Yes, sir, what up, Jay? All right, C.J., we're gonna get this thing started, man. So your journey's from Clemson to the NFL and now back to Clemson as a coach, how have you seen these athletics serve as a platform for uh, professional development and personal development? Because the mental side of the game, especially now as a coach to these young players, how important is that to them? Uh, I think right now the space that we're in is very important for those guys because, you know, they're dealing with stuff that, you know, when me and Jeff Pollard was playing, we didn't have to deal with, you know, especially with the NIL stuff that's coming aboard, you know, transfer portal. So, I think just a personal standpoint, you just have to, you know, get with guys that have been in the in the game a long time and just kind of just get some advice from them. And that's kind of what I try to do uh, each and every year to try to, you know, make sure that I don't get complacent and, and make sure that I can share my message to my guys the right way. How, how do y'all deal with the, with the mentality and the mindset? Because, you know, we all came up in the same area where we didn't have to be babysat and we just, some, somebody told us no, it was just no. How do y'all deal with the entitlement and, and just the generation of athletes being babied and get everything that they want? How do you, how do you deal with that? Number one, uh, we always encourage our young men to prioritize their manhood. And when you prioritize your manhood, your manhood affects all of what your identity is. And so we don't want them to put their identity just into football, but we want them to embrace leadership, we want them to uh, embrace being good men, being men of character. And, and when you're a man of character and you're educated, man, you have options. And, yes. and that education ought to empower you to understand that, hey, there's no entitlement with being great. There's no entitlement with being impactful. You have to put in the work. Yes. Well, Jeff, could you share the foundational principles that guided you in creating PAW? Yes. Uh, the P-A-W and PAW journey stands for passionate about winning. And... I wanted to come up uh, with a term that our young men would understand, but also help our young men understand that winning goes way beyond the football field. That winning is a way of life. And so some of the principles for me, I love life. Uh, You know, as as a man of color, uh, faith has to be important to you. Faith has always played a huge role in our history and I come up. And so, man, I love life. And if you're gonna love life, you might as well live it well. And if you're gonna live it well, 
Uh, you ought to be thankful. You ought to be grateful. Uh, you ought to show gratitude to those individuals that come before you. And if you really are grateful for those individuals that come before you, you will make sure you live your life in such a way that you encourage those coming after you. you preach the word, right? Come on, man. You That's said right. that now. Now, CJ, I got to ask you a football question. Go ahead. You know, as a running back in the NFL, you got some dogs on the other side of that, in that defense. Have you ever been a little bit intimidated? Like, oh, man, I don't want to get hit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you see Ray Lewis on the other yeah. side. Like, take, take us through a moment where you was like, oh, man, I don't want to deal with this today. It's funny that you say Ray Lewis because uh, my rookie year, we played Baltimore in Baltimore, and I, I grew up a huge Ravens <laughs> fan. And so I get out there on the film, I'm like, okay, this is Ray Lewis over there. You know, you see the highlights. I'm like, I ain't trying to be on this right, highlight. Let me, let me ask you this. When you looked over there, like, was he, was he, was he big? Did you, did you look at him before, the, before they ran the play? Oh, yeah, I looked at him in his eyes. Wait, how, what he look and like he looked you in your eyes? Yeah, he looked me in my eyes. And what happened? Did, how did you feel inside? <laughs> oh, well, I mean, we ran like a little swing route, but I was like, man, I hope he don't catch me, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, I mean, it, it was a great thing, because, I mean, it was just me showing respect. I was like, you know, nice to meet you, Mr. Lewis. And he was like, you know, I know all about you, CJ. And to me, that was like really shocking. Wait, he said that on the field? On the field. So after, after he tackled you, you said, nice to meet you. Yeah, I was like, nice to meet you, Mr. Lewis. But, but and what, he, and what he, he said? And he was like, uh, oh, I know all about you, CJ. Did he, did he knock the win out you, though? No, he ain't knocked the win out. I mean, it's just, you know, game tackle. <laughs> <laughs> I love that it. That was a good question. I love it. All right, all right let me, I got to ask you this since we're on that. All right, I got to ask both y'all. What is the hardest? Hit? And I know this about the kid, but we, we such football addicts. Uh, so we'll talk about it. We, we, we'll, we'll ask that yeah. off the air. I, I, got, I got to ask this uh, uh, right here. Um, so could you share, um, uh, you already asked that question to you, Brett, the funny man. <laughs> we get caught up in that football, y'all. Me, well, me and Rick, and, we got well, some got NFL players ADHD up ADHD kicked in, because once you start talking about plays, come on, we, we forgot all about the kids and the whole purpose <laughs> of us being here, because you just sat up here talking about you look Ray Lewis in the eyes. Come on, dog. Yeah, everything, that throws the whole interview. Y'all messed up the, man, you messed up the whole interview. <laughs> I mean, had these men get up out of bed this early in the morning. He started talking about getting hit by Ray Lewis. That's all good, y'all. Y'all <laughs> <up. laughs> give it up for Clemson's own CJ Spiller and Jeff Davis in the building coming up. We got John Lion Sounds with yeah, the chicken and waffle mix. <laughs> J.A.H. Lion Sound, we are live from Greenville, South Carolina for the Clemson University Men of Color National Summit. Y'all make some noise. We up in here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop. Hello? Hey, what's up, Shay? Hey, what's up, cool? Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Black Tony. I just, I just, sorry, I just got your tip message that y'all gonna be up in um, uh, North Carolina or today. Hey, Black Tony. I just got your tip message. Wait. Black Tony, one of, your fa one of your favorite running backs and linebacker from Clemson University is here. We, we in Greenville, Black Tony. We don't know, Rock, Rock T, tell, tell Black Tony who he missing. C.J. Spiller's in the building, Black Tony. Jeff Davis in the building, man. And you ain't even here to see him. Man, sorry, look. Man, yeah. But, hey, look. Don't you, love, don't you love them, Black Tony, and, and they're two of your favorite players? Shout I do love them. And them here two of my favorite players, but look, you know, cuz. Yeah. But it fools down. But my, 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 my baby mama, my sister, my mama and my grandmama all got their food in the car today, sir. Wait a minute, what you say, Black Tony? Everybody got their food in the car today, boy, and they, and they bumped up that number. But they all got 1,200 on them food now, boy. We finna tell Grogu up. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute, everybody got their food in the car? Yeah, boy, my, my sister, my baby mama, my grandmama, and my mama. I all got their food stamp card today. So we finna go, bro, we finna run it up. So what are you talking about? I would call you to ask you what y'all need from the grocery store. <laughs> hey, hey, Black Tony, give me some oxtail. See, hold on, hold on, CJ, you want something? Hold on, I'm, I'm right there. He about to go to Kroger. Oh, oh, yeah, I love, I love some oxtails. Hold on, hey, CJ said he wants some oxtail. Okay, you want some oxtail. Who else wants some? Yeah. Talk, tell Black Tony what you want from the grocery store. I'll get store. it to you 50 cent on the dollar, Shadi. Just Black letting you Tony, know that I, right now. I, I'll take some of those oxtails need, and right? some fried chicken, man. You want some fried chicken? You can't buy hot food with food now. Boy, what, boy, what is you talking <laughs> you, got, you got to fry it yourself, Shadi. We'll get you the chicken. You want thighs or drumsticks? <laughs> say you want thighs or drumsticks. I don't discriminate. <laughs> All right, he don't discriminate. Look, 
Hold on, Blatt Tony. Hold on, Blatt Tony. It's people out here. It's people out here. What you want? What's your name? What you want? Uh, Brandy Greenlee, and I want some macaroni and cheese. Black Tony, you got it? All right, if you want some craft cheese and macaroni, you want some real macaroni. <laughs> <laughs> she said real, real macaroni. What's your name? Pork ribs. Mike. Mike, bring me some pork, pork ribs. Black Tony, you got some pork right, ribs. Need what you need? Pinto right, need beans and some real. fat back. Pinto beans and fat okay, back, Black Tony. I got you. I got you. Hold on, right now. What you? What else? Who, Ms. Anybody Ms. Need Wallen, some grab me a couple of uh, bananas and strawberries from the from the produce stand. Shot, we got about four thousand dollars worth of food done. You don't want nothing but some damn bananas. <laughs> Go ahead, big dog. Tell your name. Man, well, boo, I need some crab legs. Black Tony, can you get some crab legs? Oh, yo, we gonna run it up. Shot, you ain't say a name. <laughs> Where you at, Black Tony? I don't, I'm, at, I'm, I'm at the food stand. We, 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 we waiting on my grandma to get her car. Then we're going to hit Kroger. We're going to tear it up. We're going to run it up. But. Are you in Greenville? Oh, I'm close by. I be the, uh, but I, I, I come up there tomorrow, though. Well, you're not in Greenville? No, nah, I can come up there tomorrow, though. Where you at? What city? I'm, 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 I'm in the West End, in the long. But I told him we're supposed to be in Greenville, South Carolina, though. All right, I'll come up there when I leave Kroger. I'll be up there about 3 o'clock this afternoon. <laughs> All right, y'all, we are broadcasting live from Greenville, South Carolina. Make some noise. Hey, I want y'all to give a big round of applause for the Fountain Inn High School Marching Band. Make some noise. Gentlemen, the Fountain Inn High School Marching Band! So sorry! Hold it! He's half man, half woman. It's Gary! I wanna hip you to the teeth. Mm -mm. It's Gary, baby. All right, y'all, we are live from Greenville, South Carolina for the Clemson University Men of Color National Summit! Yes, sir! Gary has the tea and the color of the day. Gary! Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you all. Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in Celebrity News, y'all. Aoki Lee, y'all. We all know Aoki Lee Simmons. She's the beautiful daughter of Russell Simmons and Kamora Lee Simmons, y'all. You know, she's still speaking out regarding that situation that she experienced this week with her 65-year-old boyfriend. She said she's still emotional, y'all, after the relationship ended, and she sent a cryptic message that was so sad and touching to me, and it almost brought me to tears, honey. And she said this, I am depresso expresso. But I did indeed have to share. I found where all my packages have been going to, y'all. And it was in the garbage can. It's so sad, y'all. Poor Aoki, y'all. But she's saying, y'all, that she's going to be moving on with her life. You know, she said that um, she wanted to express the, the disappointment that her parents, um, you know, gave her and what have you. But she still loved this man. And she should, you know, continue moving on. And I mean, Maria, you're a woman. I mean, I mean, you was once a young woman. I mean, did you ever like, you were like an old man? What? I mean, Maria was once a young woman. I mean, I, she could like the I old was man. once a young woman. <laughs> I, I suppose oh. I'm no longer a young woman. Oh, yeah, woman. and you're still a young woman. But, but mm -hmm. What did you just it's ask fine. her? Yeah. I said she was once a young woman. Disrespectful. She's still a young woman. She ain't 21? Well, that don't mean, I mean, that's a baby, 21. We said baby. Oh, that's babies? Yeah, she's a young woman now. Oh. Well, Maria, what you think about you know, it, Maria? I, I know, you know, when you're in your 20s, you think you're in love, right? And then you find out that you're not. So I think that she's just having fun and dating people. And she'll find someone else hopefully closer to her age. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I, I still say I don't think she need nobody her age. She don't need a young man. She need an older man, somebody that's mature, that can help but her But ladies, out. don't y'all think 21-year-old woman and a 65-year-old man, that's too much. It's too much. See, they said it's too much, Gary. 
They don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, woman, that woman is young. She needs they to know. I mean, he's teaching know. her. What? She done, they're women. They take, do yeah, she's 21. He's 65. She done took him to see Lil Dirk. Yeah. And he out there with a Medicaid <laughs> call. He got Blue Cross. He the only one at that Lil Dirk concert with Blue Cross and Blue Shield. <laughs> <laughs> with the what? The life alert around this man. <laughs> oh, y'all wrong for that. Moving on, child. Another celebrity news, y'all. Former NFL Chad Ocho Cinco. They said he couldn't hold back the tears, y'all. Why? He was speaking on one of his daughter's recent accomplishments, y'all. Now they're saying that the forty-six-year-old emotionally he celebrated his daughter pledging, AKA. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Dope. They say she pledged AKA, and he recently spoke about it, y'all. He was all excited about his daughter pledging AKA. He said that, um, you know, the milestone during a recent episode of his show. Now they're saying that the sports personality explained that he never had the chance to attend the HBCU and had no idea, y'all, how dynamic a probate is. Speaking oh, on yeah. attending his daughter's chance, she went to Prairie View and them university, he, he. you know, where new members of a sorority or fraternity are revealed, y'all. So congratulations, Ocho Single. Ain't but nothing like seeing one of your kids come out online. My, my daughter also pledged Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Uh, beautiful thing to see. Yeah. Well, congratulations. But he just said something that I didn't like the other day. He said um, he wanted to make men save money by um, cutting his own women's fingernails and doing their hair. So that was stupid. What woman want her husband know, to do yeah. her nails in hair? I ain't with none of that. Yeah, so yeah, he said that, so um, he ain't yeah, my, point my with me. little chick I talked to now, she older. She rolled her hair up before she go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> you put the rollers in? <laughs> and then she calm all up to the back and take her hands and push them curls back in. <laughs> okay. Boy, that'd be so sexy to me. <laughs> that'd be sexy right there. And then uh, she get that front. <laughs> to Kahlua yeah. today, honey, is one of my favorite Kahlua's. My Kahlua today, y'all, is Dusty Rose. On the high end, you say Dusty Rose, and on the low end, you say beautiful, dirty pink, <laughs> like the Kahlua that Special K is wearing today. That's your Kahlua for today. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Woo, Branson up here doing how her grandma used to, how your, your, your grandma, she would call me to the back and then push them curls, <laughs> push them curls. <laughs> Ooh, I'm sorry, y'all. If y'all, everybody that's listening on the radio, if you can see Brad up here imitating her grandma, we'll put it on the website. We got somebody in here, family. Y'all give it up for Gary with the D. Woo! Gary! Website. We got somebody in here, family. Y'all give it up for Gary with the D. Gary! Hey, and listen, if you want to be a part of Gary's Tea Party at the Birthday Beach Blowout, listen, man, you need to go to Ricky Smiley at BBB. Ricky Smiley, BBB.com. That's Ricky Smiley at BBB.com. Greenville, South Carolina, make some noise. Hello. Broadcasting live. More Ricky Smiley the Morning Show coming up. Did you see that post? People are talking. Here's what's trending on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. We here. Man, we are live from Greenville, South Carolina, y'all. We got the president. Mr. Jim Clements and Vice President for Diversity and Inclusive Excellence, Miss Felicia Benton Johnson. By the way, a graduate of Tennessee State University. Yeah, yeah. And she's a member of TSTSTSU. And she's a member of what? Sorority? Which one? Delta Sigma Theta and Incorporated. Oh! Yeah. We are so happy, y'all. Uh, Mr. Clemens, it's, it's good. This is our third year. Thank you for having us. We are so happy to be here. Thank you for, for what you're doing for our young people and, uh, and caring about you know, everything in the community. Uh, we are so excited to be here. Man, thank you for being here. It means so much to us. It is so great to see you again, my friend. So this is your third year here. We've been doing this for eight years now. Yes. Uh, one year I think we skipped because of COVID, but this, this is all about making a difference in people's lives. And the fact that you would show up year after year, bring the energy, help us spread the word, means, means everything to me. So thank you for doing that. Yeah, we got people from Ohio. Ohio makes some noise. Texas makes some noise. Mississippi <laughs> makes some noise. Mississippi sounded strong. We oh, yeah. They, they, they are in the building. 
Yes, sir. Well, Jim, as the Clemson University Men of Color National Summit celebrates its seventh year, marking continuous growth in both scope and impact, how do you envision the evolution of Men of Color Summit and its associated events in its coming years to ensure they remain impactful and relevant to the needs of young men of color? It's all about impact. It's all about impact. So when we started this some time ago, we didn't know exactly how big and amazing it would get. And it's incredible. We started, we had uh, 250 members of the Tiger Alliance. I mean, it was ninth and 11th grade. We now have 350, and it's ninth through 12th grade. So it's all about just doing more, doing, doing, doing more, and creating a culture that you've got amazing talent, and they're going to go to college, and they're going to go on and have a great life. So we just want to keep pushing and um, continue to grow. Yes. You know, Jim, I love your energy. Um, you've celebrated 10 years here as a president, and you always have this first day on the job uh, energy, that excitement, that, um, that ambition, that um, just the intent to make sure that all of the students here do their very best. Now, we know that Boeing, GE, and others have uh, been incredible partners uh, with Clemson. How is an event like this important to forging partnerships with corporations, nonprofits, educational institutions, and what can those partnerships mean for the university, for the students, and the community? Well, thank you for the kind words. I love what I do, and I feel blessed to have the opportunity to, to make a difference every day and to work with incredible people and to be around unbelievable students. We can't do it alone. Anything in life that you accomplish of significance, you do together as a team. So we need our teammates. We need Boeing and GE and Bosch to support, support this effort, to give us money, to market it, to give scholarships, um, to give internships, to hire these students um, after they graduate and go out and get great jobs and lead a great life. So it is all about partnerships. Again, you know, Ricky, you being here, it matters to us. You're Absolutely. helping us spread the word. So that's another great partnership, but you can't do things in life alone. Anything that you do of significance, it's together. Well, Ms. Felicia, last year was your first year experiencing the summit. Uh, what's your vision for the event, and could you discuss some of the things you're doing to elevate the summit even further this year and in the years to come to enhance its value and effectiveness? Yes, thank you. So last year was my first year, and I was so impressed. Looking at all the young men coming dressed, prepared, having questions, I being love it. active participants, you know, just warms my heart. And seeing that I saw, you know, a great opportunity to really put in place STEM, entrepreneurship, net and mocktails, how to learn how to network. A lot of students don't know how to start the conversation. It's, you know, how to, you know, is someone there? And what do I say? You know, give them the line, how to go up, introduce yourself, how to hold a cocktail or a mocktail, your plate, and have a conversation. So we're doing that. We're doing the entrepreneurship where we are partnering with our Carolina, Virginia, a Minority Supply Diversity Council to help students see how they can take their hobbies and turn them into a profit, uh, as well as we have double, double the number of undergraduate students. Because, you know, we focus on just the high school, middle school, but we can't forget those who are in undergrad and moving on options such as grad school, why, what type of workforce should I go in? So these are some things that we're looking to expand and, and expand our reach. And, and by the way, Dr. J's only been at Clemson for a year, but she's been making an impact throughout her life and she's crushing it at Clemson. Absolutely. Thank you, Prez. Congratulations. Thank you, Prez. Absolutely. Yes. And, and, and before you ask your question, Rob, thank you for saying that because I was just explaining to them, to the audience before y'all got here, exposure is everything. It is hard to get something when you have seen nothing. And uh, uh, everybody, uh, uh, and I just want to tell you this right quick. I'm a, I'm a Bama fan because that was the first time I was exposed to anything. I took a trip to the University of Alabama. My grandma put me on a Greyhound bus and sent me to Tuscaloosa and told me what corner to get off. And a del some Deltas uh, met me at the bus stop and they took me to the arcade. And that was the first time I ever went to a step show. I spent the night in the dorm with the football players and I knew then I have to go to college. I need to make something out of myself. I want to be like Anthony Bruce Smile. I'm getting emotional because if it was not for that weekend, I don't know where would I be. So this program is so important just the exposure and, the, and what y'all are doing with the kids, table manners, etiquette, shaking hands, tying the tie, 
it's everything because you know where you've been, but you don't know where you're going to end up. And preparation meets opportunity. Yes. And Ricky, yes. Thank, thank you for yes. saying yes. that. Amen to that. Yes. And thank you for saying that. And thank you for having us on the show and people like C.J. Spiller and the judge, Jeff Davis. Yes. People look up to them. And it's the same kind of thing in your story. We want to create that opportunity and change lives. And I want to say also, you know, that's a great point that you make. Oftentimes, you know, students think, oh, I have to go straight from point A to point B. And if I have a barrier or a setback that I can't get up and keep moving. But they're here and they're hearing people's stories. Mm -hmm. And their stories sound like their own stories. So when they encounter any kind of you know, we want them to understand that I always say, when you have a no, don't take it as a no. It means new opportunity. Come on now. All right? Come on now. So this is about meeting mentors, taking advantage. People are here for you. They are here for you, and they want you to be successful. So don't ever think that you cannot achieve your dreams. You know, when you say the word no, similar, I like to turn that word around. And it says it's on now. Yeah. So when somebody tell me no, I like oh, it's that. on now. It's on. Yes, I'm going to yes, flip that around. Yes, so, yes. And that's what this program is doing. It's, it's turning that on switch for a lot of the youth that you guys are impacting. So continue to do what you're doing, man. And, and the energy that both of you guys share, yes. that's where it starts. Yes. Because a kid, if they come into a room and the president or the teacher or the professor or whoever's the leader, if they got bad down energy, yes. that energy gonna be bad, Brett. Yep. Yeah, I was right. a little sleepy before you sat next to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm you got your motor, baby. You got me hyped now, hey, boy. Wait till you shake his hand. Let's go, let's go. I love it, I love it. Uh, and thank y'all, what y'all, and let everybody know if they wanna be a part of this program, everybody that's listening to us all over the United States, let everybody know uh, if you have a young uh, young men's group that would like to be a part of this program, or if anybody wanted to help, how can they help and how can they participate? I tell you what, they can they can email me directly, reach out to me directly. It's president at clemson.edu. I'll make sure they get in touch with the right person. Ricky, we have 28,747 students. I care about each and every one of them. I love each and every one. I want them to be happy, healthy, successful, feel like they belong, and going to have a great life. And the more things that we can do like this, the more you bring your voice to help us spread the word, it's better for everybody. So I really appreciate you. No, we appreciate y'all and uh, thank y'all uh, for having us. And uh, so we are live from Greenville, South Carolina at the Men of Color National Center. Let's go! Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. For President Jim Clements and Vice President Felicia Banton Johnson, y'all show your love right now. Say it ain't so. More Ricky Smile the Morning Show coming yeah. up. All right, y'all, Ricky Smile the Morning Show, make some noise. All right, y'all, we're broadcasting live at the Men of Color National Summit in Greenville, South Carolina. And listen, uh, if y'all did not uh, get your room when we made the announcement, make sure y'all log on right now to rickysmileybbb.com. All right, uh, so uh, reserve a spot for my birthday beach blowout. It's so it sold out last year. Y'all want to go to the beach, have a good time. Uh, President uh, uh, Clemens, you can bring your folks. Uh, Y'all can have my room. I'm gonna extend an open invitation uh, uh, to you, uh, Mr. President. We're gonna extend an open invitation to you to come to the Ricky Smiley Birthday Beach Blowout. Even if you come for one day, come just lay out on the beach and party with us on my birthday. I'm getting old. I'm getting. Uh, Y'all know uh, Ladero turned 40 next month. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. Rock, we got to come up. I, yes, I got to. Right, so it's Battle of Karaoke singing, Singers. So join us. We got contestant number one, Miss Bonita from Jackson, Mississippi. Yeah. Miss Bonita. Bonita in the building. Give it up. Bonita Applebaum. Yeah. And our contestant number two, we got Yari from Fountain Inn. Marching band. Y'all come on up and I'll talk in the mic. Uh, what instrument you play? You play the drums, right? I play trombone and uh, baritone. Trombone and baritone. Oh, he played both instruments. So that's 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 like baritone got fingering and then trombone got the slide. You tough, you can read music on most in instruments. Yes, sir. Okay, that's good. What college you plan on going to? Uh, I want to go to an HBCU or Clemson. Oh, okay. Say what? 
So you you want to learn? Boom, 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 boom. Yes, sir. Boom, 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 boom. All right, all right. And uh, Miss uh, Miss Benita, you from Jackson, Mississippi? I am. I'm from Jackson, Mississippi, representing Jackson State University. Today we are here with Hines Community College, Men of Color in Raymond, Mississippi. I serve as the executive director of sponsor grants, and I am a soul. Come on now. Oh Lord, Benita Applebum, you shout gotta out, put me shout on. Shout out to the mighty Y.E. Bros of Omega Psi. Shout out to Steve O, Big Boy, Augie Dog, all of my bros. 1983 came in. Absolutely. Together. You know, I, you know, you know, you know, we, we got history. Okay, so we're doing karaoke. So what what are you what do you let me see? We're gonna let you go first. Okay, so all right, what you gonna be singing? Salt and pepper. So oh wait a minute, so I thought Push you it. Oh wait a minute, uh -oh. Sarah. Now, hold, on, uh -oh. hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, now y'all don't clap for that. <laughs> Because what she did was, she came up on stage and said she was going to sing, I sing because I'm happy. Uh, and then she's going to come up here and switch it to salt and pepper. Oh. Sarah, you're wrong for that. Now you use Jesus to get on stage. Oh my God. And then you're going to get up here and talk about you're going to push it. And you talking about you play as Delta in the 80s. Sarah, okay, but we're going to let you make it. All right, you ready? Oh. Okay, you, you, you still remember it from the 80s? Salt and pepper? Okay, let's go. Here we go. Let's go, John. Everybody put your hand together. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, Bonilla. Hey, party over here. Party over here. Let's go. Remember the dance? Hey, push it. Uh-oh. Push it real That was a real good. push it dance. That was a real dance for push it. Y'all don't remember push that? Push it. <laughs> Peppers here and then we're in a big Go ahead. Want you to push it, babe. Moving my baby at night. Working on the sweat. Come on, girl, and go on now that we know. Now you're the one in the fight in her heart. Hot, hot, hot. Show. Sure. Now push it. Put your hands together, gravy. Push it good. Hey. Push, push it, it real, real good. We rock. Hey. Go ahead, Benita. Salt and pepper's here, and we're in a fix. Won't you to push it, babe? Moving our days and at night. Working up a sweat. Come on, girl, and go now that we, we know. know. Now you the one in the party and start writing soul. Now, now push, push it. it. Y'all give up a big round of applause. Push it good. All right now. All right, young man. She killed it. She put Delta Sigma Theta on the map. Uh-uh. She did. Shout out to comedian Rita Brent. That's also My chapter your chapter member. That's right. She's a member of the Ricky Smile the Morning Show. All right, my man. You ready? What's your name again? Yari. And what you singing? This is how we do it. Oh. Let's go. Okay. okay. Let's go. Okay. Everybody. This is how we do it. Let's go, dog. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. Go, Yari. This is how we do it. Uh. Once upon a time in 94, Montel made the money in life, so what's so? And all they said was 680s could. And people thought the music that he made was good. And you know day, and Paul was his name. He came up to money, this is what he said. Oi. You and OG are gonna make some cash. Hey. So you made records and you're making a dash. Hey. Oh, I'm buzzing because this, this is how we do it. it. South Central doesn't like nobody does. This is how we, we do, do it. it. So all my fans, you got much flavor. This, this is how we do it. it. Uh, flip the trap in the old school bag. This, this is how we do it. Everybody do the dance. Everybody do the dance. This, this is how we do it. it. Hey. All right, y'all, Ricky Smile, the boy, the show, make some noise. All right, y'all, we're broadcasting live at the Men of Color National Summit in Greenville, South Carolina. And listen, uh, if y'all did not uh, get your room, when well, we made the announcement, make sure y'all log on right now to rickysmileybbb.com. All right, uh, so uh, reserve a spot for my birthday beach blowout. It's so it sold out last year. Y'all want to go to the beach, have a good time. Uh, President uh, uh, Clemens, you can bring your folks. Uh, y'all can have my room. I'm gonna extend an open invitation uh, uh, to you, uh, Mr. President. 
We're going to extend an open invitation to you to come to the Rick and Smiley Birthday Beach Blowout. Even if you come for one day, come just lay out on the beach and party with us on my birthday. I'm getting old. I'm getting old. Y'all know uh, Ladero turned 40 next month. <laughs> Hey, yeah. we, got to rock. we got to come over. I, yes, I got to. I got to. <laughs> right, so it's Battle of Karaoke singing, Singers. So join us. We got contestant number one, Miss Bonita from Jackson, Mississippi. Yeah. Miss Bonita. Bonita in the building. Give it up. Bonita Applebaum. Yeah. Let's show me some noise. Hey, I got to tell America right now, I've seen a lot of parties. I ain't never seen no party like this this early in the morning. John Lyon has disrupted the entire program. Guilty. John, what is going on? Yo, we just have to turn all the way up bright and early in the morning. It's only right we're there in Greenville for like the third time. One of my favorite places, man. Listen, y'all. Listen. Ne hey, Mr. Clemens, next year we're going to have to get a bigger ballroom. That's right. Because we have turned this place into a, a club this early in the morning. Brad, people ain't even at work. We done did the electric slide. We done did the, uh, the, the, what the other one? The, the wobble. Kicked it off with yeah, the wobble. We, we wobbled electric slide. People sweating. We bagged it up. Front ways, backwards, sideways. It's one lady that keep messing up the electric slide for everybody. <laughs> but she keeps trying. Praise God for her. We are live from the Clemson University of Color. Uh, I'm sorry. Clemson University Men of Color National Summit. And our next guest is an award-winning mentor, inventor, author, and former engineering professor. Y'all, please welcome Dr. Calvin Mackey. Thank you, thank you, thank Calvin you. Calvin Cal. Thank you, brother. Man, we happy to have you. Thank you for having me. Uh, thank you for joining us, joining us this morning. Now, throughout your journey, uh, you've encountered and overcome numerous barriers, and you started your academic journey with low test scores and a need for uh, remedial classes at Morehouse College. What strategies uh, have you found most effective for fostering resilience among young men of color and facing uh, uh, systematic challenges? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, systemic. You know what I'm saying? I get tongue tied. Systemic challenges in their pursuit of education and career uh, success. Hey, thank you for having me this morning, Ricky. And I want to say thank you to that GJ. He yes, don't know I'm it, DJ but, but, but I'm from New Orleans. Yeah, we out of breath. Oh, you, you, Girtown, Zion City, from the Lower Nine, where we don't mind dying. <laughs> Come on, man. From that Wild Magnolia, y'all thought I again. told you. Tell I'm him from again. that CP3. Tell him again. You know you know me. Tell him again. You got it. <laughs> and he gonna play Juvie, Cash Money Records for me. Chopper yeah. style. Yeah. Nah, bro. Chopper style. What? That's resilience, bro. You meet young people where they are. Yes, sir. You meet them where they are, and you let them know they care. A lot of times now, communities like hide and seek. Seem like the kids are sick and everybody else hiding. You understand what I'm saying? We got to go back. Our kids are not lost. They've been left. We got to go back where they are, find them, and show them the way out. And then that's what gives them resilience. When we have meetings and coming together like this. And the beautiful thing about this, Ricky, look at all the young people in here. A lot of times they go to these conferences like with black men and all this. And the men in the front and the boys in the back in the conference are supposed to be about the boys. So we got to have events like this where our young men can see us, touch us, feel us, and know that we real. Yes, sir. We ain't come out, we ain't pop out no toaster. Come we ain't on. no whatchamacallit. Come this on. This ain't no this and that. This ain't no This ain't no pop tart. This ain't no pop tart. What? Bruh, we are real men. <laughs> and that's what our young men need to see. And that's what give them hope. And that's what give them resilience. To know that if Rick and Smiley made it, if I made it, I started college in remedial reading, developmental mathematics, and then I eventually went on to get a BS in mathematics from Morehouse then a BS, a MS, and a PhD Come from on. Georgia Tech in mechanical engineering. Four STEM degrees in 11 years. Now that's gangster. Come on. Uh, then our boys will know what it is that they're capable of doing and what's possible of doing. Oh, that's yes, the resilience Calvin. that they need. Let, let me tell man. you something. Come on, y'all. Come on. Come, Come on. on, man. Dr. Calvin Mackey in the building. Yeah, so yeah. We, we appreciate all of that big energy. You know, of course, when we think about mentorship, especially events like this, young men, they're coming in to get information and, and learn about careers, but they're also needing these life skills. Can you talk about how your personal experiences and the struggles you've been able to overcome has influenced the way that you mentor these young boys? Young brothers, I want y'all to say this. I was taught that, you know, ask your mentor who's his mentor. And if your mentor doesn't have a mentor, then that don't need to be your mentor. 
everybody needs somebody pouring into them. Every time I went somewhere, there was really a man there to grab me by the hand Absolutely. and say, let's go. Now, there's a saying that say, you know, when the, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. You got to be ready to learn because there are men out here willing and ready to teach, ready to grab you by your hand and show you the way. My grandmother said hindsight is 20, 20 vision. You know what? We've been there already. We've been around that corner. When they say don't go around that corner, you're like, oh, you think you know. Now, nah, I ain't clairvoyant. How you think your mama got you? <laughs> don't right. go around the corner if we tell you don't go around the corner because we've been there already. And that's what mentoring is. And that's the story of my life. Every time I was in darkness, there was a man that reached in that darkness and pulled me out and showed me the right way. And I thank God that I just has the wisdom to listen. That's deep. <laughs> Message. Thank you. Uh, STEM NOLA is a national leader in the design and delivery of STEM-based activities, programs, and events uh, to K-12 students, families, and communities. And I understand the program is coming to South Carolina yeah, through right. a partnership with Clemson. Why is it so important to bring STEM uh, to the underserved communities? That's breaking news. Clemson University is launching STEM South Carolina based on a model that we've created in New Orleans called STEM NOLA. STEM NOLA is an organization we founded 10 years ago to go into underserved communities and expose and inspire and engage our kids to science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Look, we are here in Greenville, South Carolina. Don't think that's just by accident. Greenville is one of the uh, largest growing cities in America. Greenville got more engineers per capita than any city in the United States of America. You got major corporations here. There's wealth creation here. And if we don't get the skills that we need for the 21st century, see in the 21st century, Ricky, we only gonna have three options. Either our children are gonna take something, break something, and don't make something. And if we don't give them the skills, the science, the technology, and the engineering, the mathematics to make something, like make a living, make a life, make a difference, they're only gonna leave them with the two options that we see on the news every night. That's why it's important that we begin to give our kids STEM from the cradle to the career. We live in a nation that makes sure that we put a football or basketball in the hands of black boys from the, from, from the uh, cradle. When they come out the mother's womb, they say, here go football, here go basketball. And nobody questioned that. But when we say we want to give our young children science, technology, engineering, and mathematics from the cradle, such that 19, 20 years later, they'll be creating the next TikTok, Facebook. They'll be buying the next NFL team, the next NBA team. Now everybody questioning that. What? Why? The Ricky Smiley Birthday Beach Blowout is back. And we're headed down to South Florida August 9th through 11th for the biggest party of the year. For more information, go to rickysmileybbb.com. All right, everybody make some noise. We are broadcasting live from yeah. Clemson University's Men of Color National Summit. Uh, I am so excited to be here. Y'all having a good time? We are so excited to be here. Maria, this has been a lifetime experience. This probably, uh, out of all three times, this got to be the one with the most energy, I'm telling you. Oh my you. gosh, it gets bigger and bigger every year. We just love being here. Good morning, Greenville. Good morning. All right, I am Maria Moore, and here are a few of the stories on the front page. Six former Mississippi law enforcement officers who abused two black men for hours were sentenced in state court Wednesday to 15 to 45 years in prison. Their sentences will, will run concurrently with their federal sentences handed down last month, which range from 10 to 40 years in prison. The ex-officers had pleaded guilty after the torture of Michael Jenkins and Eddie Parker at a home in January 2023. In other racial justice news, two conservative political operatives who orchestrated a robocall campaign to dissuade black people from voting in the 2020 election have agreed to pay up to $1.25 million under a new settlement with New York State. Jacob Wall and ja uh, Jack Berkman were accused of making robocalls to phone numbers in predominantly black neighborhoods in Ohio, Michigan, New York, Pennsylvania, and Illinois that told people they would be subjected to arrest, debt collection, and forced vaccination if they voted by mail. Uh, all of my registered voters, make some noise up in here. Let's go. You know, you know where we gonna be in November, right? Yes, yes. Lastly, over 50% of Americans, Ricky, trust Google more than what they learned in school. What? 55% uh, that say that they rely on Google with the average American searching five basic questions each day. 
Very interesting. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I'm Maria Moore. And that's don't what's trust, happening. Don't news. trust Google. <laughs> trust Jesus. Trust Jesus. <laughs> With all that heart, <laughs> lean not to thine own understanding. The doors of the church is open right now. Will you come? <laughs> Rock team, what you got in sports? <laughs> to G. Let's go here, man. I'm sorry. Hey, man, 24-year-old Toronto Raptors Jonte Porter could face a lifetime ban from the NBA over gambling allegations under fire for being, uh, there's two games particularly when he, sports books noticed that some head-scratching activity on the bets involving him. He left both games, one because of mysterious uh, injury and one because of mysterious illness. Like he left the game early and didn't come back into the game, so some people are saying that he's a part of certain bets. Like, and, you know, because people bet on these games. Oh, in Vegas. really? And so they what they do when they leave the game? Yeah, so if he had, if a player had is in on these bets, that's illegal, of course. Right. So, you know, he could, he could, he's 24 years old, man. He may get banned from playing for life. All right. Keep that's playing. crazy. An unnamed NBA general manager has expressed his opinion on Bronny James, the son of LeBron James, who recently declared for the NBA draft. He's also hit the transfer portal, so he's going to be leaving USC. But this general manager, who remains unnamed, said that Bronny is not even close to being ready for the NBA. What you think? Yeah, I, I have to uh, agree with that. You know, we all want to see our favorite basketball players' offspring be just like them. But what we have to remember that they are half their dad and half their mom. Look at Gary. There, Gary, <laughs> Gary, Gary with the T. His daddy played football. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but he's mostly his mom. <laughs> Okay, yeah. so that goes without argument. <laughs> but he played, but Gary played tight end in football, didn't he? And Gary played wide receiver. He, he punted. <laughs> <laughs> punt. Drop it like it's hot. Toast. Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> Toast straight up. Wait a minute, huh, Gary, huh? Uh, Gary, say what? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a I know you ain't gonna snap on nobody. Now, what was that? <laughs> now, they said, nah. Who, who we were saying, we are talking about LeBron James' son. Uh-huh. That some, like, everybody expect him to be like his offspring. Uh-huh. That yeah. some players are, you know, half their dad and half their mom. He might not have all of LeBron's skills. Uh -huh. So I said, like, Gary with the T. Uh -huh. <laughs> you have... Uh, probably like, like, like twenty five percent your dad, <laughs> but seventy five percent Miss Hayes. Miss Hayes, shout out to you this morning. Now, what was this pun? Somebody just put their feet. No, they said you probably. Rati asked, "Was you on the football team?" Uh huh. Yeah. And they said you probably punt. Uh, <laughs> kick, you know, when they on, on yeah. fourth down. Yeah, when they punt, they toes they pointed in the and air. And they said when you point, he said you pointed your toes in the air, <laughs> and you had some ballet shoes on. <laughs> And that's why they kicked you off the football and, team. And, and who participated when my legs was punt? Oh, I can't say DK. I almost said uh, Okay, Brad. thank you. You got the hot spot. I ain't going to say it, Brett. Brett, go ahead. I ain't going to say it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Gary. You all right, Gary? Yeah, you know with the mics. Gary, we don't want to lose our job. Y'all give Gary a big round of applause. <laughs> that ain't nothing but Y'all know that ain't nothing but haters. Huh? Look at them. <laughs> Look, look at that. What you mean, look at us? Look at y'all. Rock T wanted to be a football player. Look where he is. Sitting there doing sports. <laughs> play, play a little football, Gary. <laughs> and there you go. What Ricky, about, what about and, me? And Ricky, Lord Jesus, he wanted to blow a horn. And look at here. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. And look at me. I wanted to do the T, and here I am. <laughs> Gary, I, I am an accomplished trumpet player. I play the trumpet, the baritone. The French horn, the piano, and the organ, and drums. But like you Brent. didn't you didn't make it to the symphony. You're right here. Olds, <laughs> <laughs> one in eight have worked at McDonald's, and where you start stays with you. Hey, and listen, if you want to be a part of Gary's Tea Party at the Birthday Beach Blowout, listen, man, you need to go to Ricky Smiley at BBB. Ricky Smiley, BBB.com. That's Ricky Smiley at BBB.com. That's right, we're all right, y'all, Greenville, make some noise. Hey, man, I want to thank all of our guests today, Michael uh, Michael McGuire, Michael McGuire, 107.3 Jams. And uh, most of all, I want to thank Clemson University and President Jim Clements 
and the entire Clemson University team for putting this together. This is our third broadcast at the Men of Color Summit. It was the best one yet. Everybody make some noise. We are the best. Y'all, more Ricky Smiley Morning Show coming up. Listen, man, hey, uh, I need you uh, right now uh, to call three friends and go ahead and book your room for my birthday beach blowout right now. That's August the 9th through the 11th at the Diplomat. Are y'all pulling up? Y'all pulling this up. Take your phones out. I will close and lock the doors in this auditorium and hold y'all hostage. <laughs> if you don't book your <laughs> book your room right now, it's going to be at the Diplomat. Swanky is real swanky. Oh, you feel like you're rich when you walk inside that hotel. It smells good in the lobby. That's right, the Diplomat. And uh, we're going to be partying all night until 4 in the morning. So make sure y'all go to rickysmileybbb.com. rickysmileybbb.com. Ricky Smiley Morning Show.